And with me now in studio is Dr. Andreas Bender. He's a neuroscientist at the University of Munich and he's the chief physician as well at the Burgau Therapy Centre in Bavaria. Thank you very much for joining us. Now, we've just seen in that report uh, that parts of the brain of patients in this particular state actually are reacting to external stimuli. Um, does this mean that we have to change our definition of what uh, a person in a vegetative state is? I think we, we, we have underestimated a proportion of, of patients in a vegetative state. Um, it's not, not all patients react um, in the scanners, uh, but so far we have uh, used the term permanent vegetative state, for example, and I think these results will um, help coin a new, a new understanding that there is no such thing as the, the permanent vegetative state. There's always room for improvement, and so we are going to the term uh, uh, vegetative state or unresponsive wakefulness syndrome unresponsive wakefulness syndrome okay mm -hmm. so someone who's in an uh, unresponsive state then is this is this a common occurrence after they come out of a coma there are different um, options uh, uh, when you awake from a, from coma. You can either go into the uh, vegetative state or a minimally responsive uh, state, or you can uh, improve quickly to, to normal uh, consciousness. Uh, but it is quite often. It, it is estimated that in Germany we have between five and twenty thousand uh, people suffering uh, from a vegetative state. When you say quickly, what do you mean by quickly? How long is uh I mean, what's normal length of time for someone to recover out of this type of a case? For example, if you had a head injury and you were in a coma for one or two weeks, uh, you could progress to normal levels of consciousness within one or two weeks. Uh, but it can also be much longer in terms of, more in terms of many years uh, before you make gradual steps um, towards improvement. So this really does raise a lot of ethical questions as well. What do you do with a patient who is in this particular state in a long, on a long-term basis? It is a very difficult um, situation. We, we have to be aware that these patients might have or, or surely have needs and, and they are responsive. So we shouldn't deprive them of rehabilitation um, efforts. And, and that is um, one important um, issue there. And, and also you have to be aware that, that they can react and, and the whole surrounding, the whole environment has to adapt to that. Okay. Now you yourself, you're carrying out a study on 60 different patients, if I'm correct. Uh, what is your study hoping to achieve? Yeah, that's correct. Um, we, we include patients as we speak, so we hope to increase that number to several hundreds. Uh, our, our main goal is to, to build a new databases for a better understanding of, of what the actual um, uh, outcome of these patients is, what their potential for recovery is, if we only look long enough for okay. years. Um, so, do these new developments mean that hopefully there will be new therapies coming out as well? Um, what, what these um, study results do is th they, they um, raise interest for, for this whole uh, th um, um, topic of, of wakeful of, uh, consciousness. So hopefully this will be used to um, gather more interest in uh, further uh, treatment developments as well, yes. Okay. Now you've obviously a lot of experience in this area. Can you uh, tell us about an impressive story that you've seen in a recovery of a patient or is that common? Um, well, it, it's, it's, it's not very common that you see miraculous um, events, but uh, when, you, when you talk to people who are long enough in the field, they always have patients and can report about patients who had a very good outcome. And we had an, a young man who was 16 years old, uh, suffered cardiac arrest, and he uh, was believed to never be able to recover again. But within nine months, he was able to leave the hospital on foot. And, and this surely is a story uh, which gives hope also for relatives. Well, that's amazing. Dr. Bender, thank you very much for joining us on the show.